From this lecture, we will start a new topic and in this topic, we will talk about distortions in LTI systems. There are two types of distortions. The first one is known as magnitude distortion and the second one is known as phase distortion. In this lecture, we will talk about magnitude distortion only. I will first explain what is magnitude distortion and after that, we will see one example. So let's see what is magnitude distortion. If the system provides unequal amount of amplification or attenuation to different frequency components to different frequency components available in input signal then the system is having magnitude distortion so the definition is very simple if there are different frequency components available in input signal and the output is having the different frequency components with unequal amount of amplification then we can say that the system is having magnitude distortion to understand this let's take one LTI system and in this system XT is the input which is equal to sine omega 1t plus sine omega 2t so the input is having the different frequency components you can see the frequency of the first component is equal to omega 1 and the frequency of the second component is equal to omega 2 and omega 1 is not equal to omega 2 and as we are considering the case of magnitude distortion the output of the LTI system will have the different frequency components with different amplitudes so let's say the output of the LTI system is yt and output yt is equal to a1 sine omega 1t the first component with frequency omega 1 is now having the amplitude a1 when the signal xt is applied to the given LTI system with magnitude distortion now we will focus on the second component of the input as system is having the magnitude distortion the amplitude should be unequal the amplitude is a1 for the first component so for second component the amplitude will not be equal to a1 it will be a2 which is some value different than a1 so we will have a2 sine omega 2t so this is the case of amplitude distortion or the magnitude distortion and in this case you can see the output yt is having the two components and the two amplitudes are unequal a1 is not same as a2 so this is what you should remember regarding the magnitude distortion in the next lecture we will talk about phase distortion and once we have the clear understanding of magnitude and phase distortions we will talk about distortionless LTI system.